beautiful Gemini beings. Welcome uh -oh, and are welcome back. Depending on which reading you've clicked on, we're going to dive into your next 24 hours. I'm going to get through this. Taurus was heavy. I'm surprised I'm recording Gemini after this, but I really want, I didn't want to leave Gemini on the table. <laughs> I didn't want to leave gems on the table. Okay, so let's clear that out. Okay. Cleansing. Five of spades. Ooh. Six of hearts. If any of you guys um, are in a lack of communication, because I don't like to say no communication, or in a lack of communication with your boo or with your person, I do see you come. Um, you guys coming out of that. It feels like indefinitely um, kicking off this 24 hours. I feel like there's been a lot of interference from other people causing a lot of opposition, but eventually it, it is charted destined for the two of you guys to be successful, not just together as a partnership, but individually as well. Also, um, there's been a lot of energy coming out about leaving behind jobs, maybe leaving behind a certain living situation. It's just, it feels like there's just a lot of things, Gemini, that's just like causing you to be restless. Um, this could be some type of bullying, okay? And and when I, and also I just want to preface this, not just you, those of you guys that may be parents watching my reading, this could even be your children. Because I feel like there's a lot of resistance that you've been met with that is just kind of like, bouncing off or it's like not affecting you as much anymore um especially here with the four of clubs like jack of clubs things are definitely moving four of diamonds i feel like things are moving in a way where you're going to be able to have security and safety as opposed to feeling like you're overly guarding something maybe some of you guys haven't really been socializing you've been um kind of holding yourself away from society. And I feel like maybe some of you guys have been doing that because despite you focusing on work, maybe despite you kind of like honing in on your skills or really trying to better your craft, you may feel like you're only receiving some type of partial success or partial payment, or this could just be like, you know, I'm coming up with logical solutions to change my financial situation. However, I still just feel like I haven't reach that point of breakthrough or financial growth. Um, maybe for some of you guys, if you're uh, watching this thinking of love, showing a lot of like change, like scattered energy. It feels like there's a lot of scattered energy around you. Gemini does feel like there is some masculine energy. I, I just cannot, sometimes I just can't, I can't get with this. Masculine energy just kind of like you know, just they, they see you as competition, which I never really in, understood. We are in a Jupiter hour. <laughs> On a sun day. And the, uh, let me pick these up and reshuffle because it's about to get juicy. It's about to get juicy. Very juicy. Okay, Gemini. Let's change up the scenery because I know there's some secrets that need to come to the surface for Jim and I watching this reading. Notice this king of spades still came out. Still came out, but it came out with the six of hearts and that's what came out originally when I was talking about your boom. So it looks like this is a thief in the camp around your boom. Or this could be a thief in the camp from your past, Jim and I. Um, or this could be somebody that's just holding on to like, oh my gosh, like Gemini was so amazing in my life. And Gemini did this and Gemini did that. And how did I let Gemini go? Or what did I do that caused Gemini to go? I don't feel like this is just romantic gems. I feel like this is romantic and platonic as well. And here with the Six of Clubs, I just kind of feel like you're not really thinking about that. <laughs> I kind of feel like you're not really thinking about that. I feel like you're not thinking, you're, oh girl you were scaring me are you okay i feel like you're not really thinking about other people as much as they are thinking about you my mom's cat is going through something i don't know <laughs> Here with the Queen of Hearts, okay? So I feel like with this Queen of Hearts coming out here, Gemini, this this may be somebody that has some type of romantic feelings for you, or this could just be someone that sees you as, um, I don't know if you guys are moms, 
than mother, obviously, or see that maternal energy in you or see you as a wife or you're very trustworthy, passionate, romantic, creative. I feel like you're just like this regardless if you're with somebody or not. But I do feel like this next 24 hours, rest in this queen of hearts energy, really just kind of take care of yourself, take care of your home, your surroundings. Um, okay. Like, I just feel like you're a lover. Oh, this is getting. I feel like there's somebody that's missing your energy that doesn't even really talk to you. That's wild, though. Like, why would they? It must be something that you you caused to happen or shift or something that you brought to their life, Gemini. Because it's just like it feels like there's people that are missing you or wanting you that like you know you stepped or walked away from. But then I also feel like it's people that. Interesting. So maybe this is somebody that you used to check up on, you used to reach out to, and then you kind of finally got to the point where you're like, okay, we match your energies, boo. Like, you ain't really checking for me. So I'm not checking for you. I told y'all this is going to get juicy, but y'all can count on me for it to be juicy. Why? Because I have Jupiter and Gemini in the 12th house. And we're going to see the things that we need to see. Okay. There's definitely somebody that wants to marry you, Gemini, but I feel like it's a couple people who want to marry you, to be honest. So use your intuition and discernment because. Um, we are monogamous over here. We have the eight of diamonds, which is my absolute favorite card coming out here. Unexpected windfall. I feel like there's some financial success that's falling in your lap, gems, this next 24 hours. But I just feel like whatever it is, you're going to handle it with ease. You're going to handle it with stride. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you are because you've been juggling things. You've been balancing things. Some of you guys, this is new business or just good financial news to come. For some of you guys, this is confirmation and validation that your boo is not cheating on you. There may just be a lot of physical and emotional distance at play here, kind of like causing you to feel that. Then also I feel this energy of like two people resting in each other's arms, um, literally and figuratively. I hope I'm saying that right. After 707, I feel like you and your boo are very self-sufficient. Um, but I kind of feel like, I don't know, if someone, you if you boot up, I feel like they don't want to be self-sufficient without you. 717, I feel like they're ready to, um, I feel like they're ready to express like what their deep obsessions. Oh my gosh. Look, y'all see, I'm ready to fight for you. Nobody will ever compare to you. And they're ready to make this investment, marriage, contracts, and they're ready to try a new position and they're ready to hit it wrong, don't care about the outcome. But I feel like somebody here, like, even though I'm kind of like showing you these messages and this comes up in my readings a few times, like, even though I'm showing you this, you just kind of like, oh, okay. Is that how they really feel? That's why I say it just feels like there's some type of physical and emotional distance at play here. Whereas like, I feel like maybe sometimes you and this person, um, I don't, I'm, I don't want to say that y'all aren't on the same page, but I feel like y'all aren't on the same page and this next 24 hours get, okay. We already saw that getting on the same page. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of this has to do with jealousy. I feel like there's people that they're jealous. Uh, yeah, I, I used to go through situations like this until I just kind of learned. I, I kind of learned to move different. So I, I remember once upon a time, and this is more so like when I was in my teens and I ain't know nothing about, I ain't know nothing about being teen as shit. I'm still learning now, <laughs> two decades later. But I used to have those situations where like a dude would try to talk to me and I would like, yeah, I curve him and it'd be like a piranha would come out. So I learned this is what worked for me. Let me make this clear. And I feel like this is what works for me. Yes, I like to rope astrology into it. I feel like this is what works for me because I have a seventh house stelium. That is retrograde. So I had to learn that there's there's something that they're feeling at this moment that's drawing them to talk to me. A lot of times, sometimes people just want to talk. So instead of just being like, oh, no, thank you. I'm not interested. I, I would talk. You know, oh, hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? And just a little small talk. And eventually that small talk would take care of itself. I'd probably say <laughs> some of y'all booze energy is so loud, right? Because I'd probably say 
maybe like five, five and a half years ago is when like the energy shift would happen. Like that small talk would be like, oh, you must be taken. You must got a man. You must be married. Whereas like before then, <laughs> I, I used to hear the craziest things. So, so for some of y'all, like, and I know there's always a lot of emphasis on the divine masculine, divine feminine, but some of you guys, like, y'all booze love y'all so much, like, their energy literally wards off other people from you or wards off anybody that would try to talk to you. Like, I feel like maybe some of you guys here, like, this could be like, you know, somebody delivers something or brings something, they just kind of, like, mesmerized by your eyes, but then, like, your booze energy is like, nah, fuck that, get away. So... Maybe that's why I'm picking up on this. It's a lot of strong attraction here. <laughs> a lot of strong attraction. For some of you guys, maybe you're already married. Maybe this is your husband or your wife, or this is your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Or some or somebody is secretly crushing on you, Gemini. But I just kind of feel like <clears throat> I feel like whoever's this energy is it, whoever energy this is, like they they know that they can like manifest or like have a successful life with you and not just romantically not just um foundationally but financially as well or you're just obsessed with yourself and that's elevating your finances i don't know now this is the second time i felt a breeze of air coming from a place where there's no air like <laughs> this is a while <sighs> okay gemini let's see baby look at taurus reading coming over from here she still the ritual sent by and or maybe and or maybe some of you guys focusing on one or the other or alternating when you're focusing on them is helping you. Someone's evil eyes on you and fifty thousand dollar payout. That's because you can get a fifty thousand dollar payout. I heard on Etsy. I make thousands of dollars daily doing what I love. I know dollars isn't there, but I added it. You get your family out your practice, please. Please. Okay. I hope this helps somebody in some way, shape, or form. You were able to extract something from this reading. Hi. I also heard passive income. I know that's in here somewhere. Ooh, sales pouring. Yeah, somebody else was a lion. Also, here is somebody here is building passive income, or you you're learning that the journey to create passive income really requires you to block out negative voices, call your money power back to you. Yeah, Gemini, look, $100,000 payout. I feel like um, there's something for you that's not a hobby. It's a way of life. Um, some of you guys are being called or guided to careers that are more so a way of life than just a hobby or a business. So I feel like the um, over the next 30 days, really focusing on your craft is um, learning a skill or a trade, maybe even creating a budget or updating a budget that you already have. Um, I do like to be transparent and say if you are in between blessings, in between income, careers, whichever, creating a mock budget, just writing down and budgeting the things that you know that you know you are going to be taken care of or you know. Oh, can you push that down? Hey, can you push that down to turn the thing back on? Thank you. Then creating a budget. Um yeah, maybe working with some money subliminals to help push that through. Um, interesting. I feel like somebody here, your spirit squad guides you to subliminal creators that are placed, that are located in places that, um, like if you if you're into astral cartography, where it been, where there's you have lines that benefit you. I mean, I don't feel like any of the lines don't benefit you. I hear a lot of people talk about like, oh, you don't want to live near your Saturn line. That's I just feel like that's when people don't understand like, you know, Saturn's wicked ways. So yeah, so say for let me give an example because I'm like talking riddles. So say for instance your Venus line runs through California, like, and you have Venus, you know, placed in like, you know, a place to generate money for you, right? Because I do not believe that every planet, every house is a money generator. Um, then your spirit squad may pop up on your feed or your recommended like subliminal creators, amorphic fields, or maybe even readers 
or astrologers or energy workers, whichever that's in that area. So this could be the same for like content creators too, or maybe just, I don't know. I feel like somebody here, you, you either watch a lot of YouTube, you used to watch a lot of YouTube or get your information from YouTube, or now you're getting back to it. Or maybe you create content on YouTube. I don't know. Someone is lying about their money dealings. It's always honey. Generational wealth in the making. I feel like this is somebody that has um, maybe towards Virgo Capricorn placements. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Interesting. Y'all pay attention, especially those of y'all that got steliums. Pay attention to like whatever stelium you have in your chart. Pay attention to um, if you interact with people that have that sun sign. Pay attention to that. Okay, let me give you an example. Like, if you have a Gemini stealing them in your chart, pay attention to the the interactions and the relationships, connections you have with um, other Geminis. I mean, if you're an astro nerd and people let you astro nerd and pull their charts, then I'll say Gemini placements. But those of you guys, you just know somebody to be a Gemini, then that would be a Gemini sun. Their sun sign is Gemini. Okay, because it, yeah, so, yeah, I feel like somebody here, you're just, you're releasing a lot, but it's good, it's good, it's good for you. Okay, bye. Hello, stranger, it's been a minute since we last...